680 Richard Southern joins us now. Richard, it's a shocking stat that really goes to show just how far out of reach home ownership is for many in Toronto. What does it cost to afford a condo? How much do you have to make a year, Francis? A new report is out and it finds that for a first time home buyer to afford a condo in Toronto, you got to be making $100,000 a year. This is according to Urban Nation. Uh, now, uh, you, just a year ago, you had to be making uh, seven, 77000 a year to afford a condo. Wow. Now, six figures, Francis, mm. and it's because the average price has gone way up. Uh, condo, $558,000 now on average. Even the cost to rent one will uh, set you back an arm and a leg. Average monthly condominium rents up 11% year on year to 2200 a month for a 740 square foot unit. Expensive, even for those little condos these days, Francis. That's an incredible salary increase in just a year or two. Uh, 100 G's. So NAFTA negotiations are incoherent and unpredictable. That's the word from the head of one of Canada's largest auto unions, who is actually in Washington for the talks and who's also speaking to you this evening. Yeah, I'm just off the phone with Jerry Diaz, the head of Unifor, and he is down in Washington, D.C., uh, monitoring those uh, negotiations. Uh, he tells me he worries that a rush to get a new NAFTA deal in place could be bad news for Ontario auto workers. The United States has proposals on the table, for example, to eliminate the dispute mechanism. Since NAFTA started, the United States has slapped uh, tariffs on softwood lumber, paper, aerospace, aluminum, steel. So for us to agree just to eliminate the dispute mechanism, allow the U.S. to handle all disputes would be suicide. But the elephant in the room is the fact that the jobs are migrating from Canada, the United States to Mexico because of straight exploitation. We can't fix that. Then we have a huge problem. But what if they sign a deal you don't like, Jerry? What are you going to do and what are your members going to do? Well, there's no question. Our members are going to have a lot to say about it and we'll have a lot to say about it at the ballot box. Francis, he hmm. says he, he doesn't think we're going to see a NAFTA deal anytime soon. So some mm -hmm. interesting comments there from Unifor. You know, I took your advice yesterday. I filled up because you said that uh, gas was going up today, but it's about to get even more <laughs> pricey. So what can we do to save gas? Yeah, we're going up another penny tonight, Francis. Dollar thirty-four nine a liter oh. after midnight. Yes, good question. What can we do to save a few bucks? First off, you know, they say you should buy gas early or late in the day. This is especially true when it's a bit warmer outside, and that's because gas is cooler earlier in the day and more dense as temperatures rise. Gas density falls and you get less of it at the pump. Uh, Eliminate wind resistance. Keep your windows rolled up. You'll save a little bit of gas. Take the rack off your hood. Uh, make sure your um, your engine is uh, turned off if you're waiting for someone, Francis, or if you're at a you know a railroad crossing. Monitor your tires. Make sure they're properly inflated. That makes a big, big difference when it comes to gas mileage. Drive, they say, just maybe a little bit below the speed limit. Don't go fast. That increased drag, it costs you more money. Lighten the load. Take what you don't need out of the car. That'll save you gas. And finally, <laughs> oh my, I have... Absolutely. Wait, is this official? I have absolutely no shame. I'm terrible. Uh, <laughs> listen to 680 News because every 9 and 39 minutes yes. after the hour, every afternoon, we have tomorrow's gas price. So shameless plug shameless. will help you save some money. I'm shameless. sorry for that. Shameless. I apologize. Okay, you always a big one, yeah. Uh, another stunning stat when it comes to the world of entertainment. So there's one particular video game that now has made more money ago, than any movie, book, or music album ever released. I was blown away by this. That's am it's amazing. It's Grand Theft Auto V. It has now made more than six billion dollars, more than double the highest grossing film ever. This game came out back in September of 2013, but it remains popular today with a lot of downloadable, expandable content uh, even taking into account dvd and streaming sales for big blockbusters like star wars grand theft auto 5 still comes out on top uh, made by british developer rockstar north pulled in 800 million the first day it came out back in uh, 2013 it has been criticized for its violent content mm -hmm. and its portrayal of women but just goes to show the video game industry how big it is now francis that's incredible so the annual ranking of canada's best restaurants is out where are you taking me for dinner richard uh, you're the i was hoping you can get us some rezos francis uh-huh you're I a big can. deal I'll make a call can you get us a seven o'clock no. rezo at allo not at all <laughs> <laughs> this is uh not only toronto's top restaurant but ranked canada's top restaurant uh, it's a uh, modern french uh, restaurant on spadina uh, next buca yorkville and a nice italian eatery a doulas number three a seasonal menu you can find here at uh, king and bathers dandelion innovative dishes with global influence on queen west canis locally sourced seasonal dishes la banana raw raw bar uh, at uh, that uh, location canoe of course 
Paris, classic Canadian on top of the TD Bank Tower. Bar Isabel, this is the only one I've been to, Francis. Nice, but a little bit expensive. It's the tapas. You know, you, you mm -hmm. pay for a bunch of things and then the bill's kind of big at the end. Uh, Brothers and Scaramouche rounding out the list. So you get us some resos for tonight and I'll show up, Francis. I've been to two of those restaurants only because of Winterlicious, but... Uh, That's a good way to try. Then. That's a good way to try yeah. these new places out. All right. Thank you, Richard. See you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Here's Brandon.